are we going to be? We've been in town all day. It's cold and wet, and we're never going to any decent job. You mean we're never going to any computer game job? Stop moaning. It's good to see now. It's good to exchange. <coughs> Why? You should see some of these people gave you last week. Hankies with my initials on them and socks of horrible colors. You shouldn't be so ungrateful. Lots of people in the world, and some even here in Fayetteville, won't get anything. <coughs> I've got a lot full of hankies they can have a bit of Anyway, Mom, what am I getting? Stop fighting, Audrey. I'm not enjoying this any more than you want. Plus, there's not much shopping left to do. Good, because I got a rehearsal at 6 o'clock for the watch night service. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. And that's another thing. Why do we have to go to church so much at this time of year? It's bad enough going every Sunday. <laughs> and what's the point of Christmas, apart from presents, of course? Tell me that, Sally, if you're so smart. You see that guy over there, Sonny's Naval Observer? He's probably got nowhere to sleep tonight. And that's where the Christmas story begins. So, he's homeless. What's, so what? What's that got to do with Christmas? Tried a dozen more places. Why you can't register for call tax at your own hotel? I'll never know. Look, here's the door we haven't been to yet. Excuse me, are you Rachel? Yes, that's me. What can I do for you? You look worn out. We're desperate for some shelter. Your friend across the road says you might have something. We were hoping you can help us. See, our baby's about to be born, and we need a place to sleep. Oh, well, in the circumstances, I might have something. Nah, it's too smelly and dirty. What is it? Will it take anything? It's just a shed where I keep my animals. It's not great, but you can't have a baby on the street. Certainly not this baby. Huh? It's just through this passageway it's through here. I'll leave it to you. If you need any help, just give me a shout. Good night. It's not very nice to you, is it? It'll be perfect. 
perfect for any ordinary child, perhaps, but not for this chosen child. This should be trumpets of trumpets of royalty and multitudes and paying homage. We don't have any choice. We don't have any choice. Anyway, maybe God has provided this place for us for his own reason. Maybe this place will be important for our grandchildren and their grandchildren. This stuff? I don't mean this place. I'm, I mean it might. I mean it might be important. important for them to know that the chosen one was born in an ordinary place around ordinary people, not in a palace. I have a feeling he's going to spend his whole life helping <laughs> ordinary people. I, it's good that he starts out this way. Anyway, you get some rest. I have a feeling you need. John, why are you staring at that trouble different thing? I was just seeing about some things that Dennis just said that past Sunday. They mean we want to. How do you mean? <clears throat> well, I used to think Jesus was just a baby in the stable 2,000 years ago. Not much to do with me. And have you changed your mind? Yes. I've got a feeling. I'm, yes. I've got a feeling Jesus is forever and not just for Christmas Eve. God bless us, everyone. God bless us. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.